If you want to know how to pick the right climbing pack, then keep watching. But first remember to subscribe to our channel to receive more videos about gear advice and a rock and alpine climbing around Europe. So there's a lot of different climbing packs out there uh, and I cannot tell you which one to buy, but I can definitely give you a lot of advice based on my own experience with climbing with different packs. And in the end of this video, I will share with you what's my favorite pack and I'll also share with you what's the most important lesson learned that I've gained throughout my experience. So climbing packs are very different from hiking packs as they will have some special features that you need to look for. But just before we look at the different features, let's see some of the uh, climbing packs that some of my friends, they uh, climb with. These features would include different things such as crampon bags, it would include ice axe attachment points or rope uh, fixation. Uh, it could also be that the pack itself is made from a more water repellent material than usual hiking bags. So first of all you need to consider the size of the pack. Uh, I wouldn't climb with a heavy pack because that would be pretty enduring. One thing you could start practicing is that when you have packed your bag, then take it to your local gym and do a few uh, routes uh, and see how heavy it actually is. Um, I bet you will get surprised about how hard it actually is to climb with a pack if you're not used to it. And you'll probably soon find out that there are some things that you put in your bag that you don't need anyway. So this is obviously very dependent on what's the purpose of your climbing pack. If it is for actual alpine climbing or ice climbing or rock climbing, you would like it to be pretty lightweight and, and probably not that big. But if you want to hike in with your tents and your sleeping bag and food and clothing, then you probably need a bigger pack. So if you're doing ice or alpine climbing, you need some kind of crampon. Uh, attachment capabilities and you would need some kind of way to attach your ice axe in an easy and uh, a quick way. But if you're just doing rock climbing you, sh you should avoid stuff like that because that will just add extra weight and be uh, something that's completely unnecessary for what you're doing. But one thing I really would recommend that you look for that it's the hip belt itself. You don't want the hip belt to be in the way for your climbing harness and you can't get your gear. I would definitely try to avoid climbing with a traditional hiking backpack because the hip belt kind of always seems to be in the way of your climbing harness. However, if you do long approaches and you carry a lot of gear, you'll definitely like to have that hip belt to take off some of the load from, from your pack. They say that a good hip belt actually takes 20% off the load from, from your knees, which is something you really like because carrying a lot of heavy gear that could definitely result in injuries. And finally, I would look for rope attachment and a general weight of the backpack. And that's something to consider for all types of climbing. So for that particular reason, I have several different climbing packs. Gregory has made the Alpinisto 50, which is a 50 liter backpack. Um, it has all the right features that you would need, such as a crampon bag, it has rope attachment, it has great uh, features for carrying your ice axes. And it has a heavy duty hip belt as well, that you can actually detach, so you can both use it for hiking in, but also for actual climbing. So this pack is definitely my preferred choice for hiking in, but I think it's too big and too heavy to actually be doing a lot of, of hard climbing with. So my preferred choice for actual ice and alpine climbing, that would be the Arcteryx FL30. This is a super lightweight uh, climbing pack that's very simple and has just the features that you need. It's a 30 liter backpack, it's very slim, it's close to your body and it sits quite high. 
so it's not getting in the way for your climbing uh, harness and, and, and all the other stuff that you need to carry. And it still have enough room to carry a down jacket, some water, some snacks, an emergency PV bag and other emergency stuff that you need when you're doing ice and alpine climbing. For multi-pitch rock climbing I use the Black Diamond B11, which is small enough just to carry my approach shoes, some water, some snacks, a windbreaker, um, and still large enough to carry all of my camera gear. And finally, if I want to go super lightweight on short multi-pitch rock climbs in good weather, then I'll just use my Gravel Mountain Runner Light, which is a, uh, a trail running um, vest. Um, it can just carry a water bladder and a windbreaker, but that's enough. And you can hardly feel that you're actually carrying a backpack. So my final tip and most valuable lesson learned, that is to choose a backpack that's specialized for the need that you have. Maybe sounds quite simple, but doing alpine climbing with a backpack that not, does not have the features for that, that doesn't make a very good climbing experience. Or if you do rock climbing and you have a very big backpack that's half empty, you would just be carrying the extra weight. And then it's a very good investment ditching that hiking backpack that you have in your closet, um, because you would like something that's specialized for what you do. So I hope this video has helped you with uh, getting some insights on how to choose the right uh, climbing backpack for you. And my overall favorite climbing pack, that would be the Acterix FL30. What's yours? Leave a comment below.